Hello friends, I'm Louie Louie and today I will talk about Set the Boy Free, Johnny Marr's autobiography. In fact, I have read a lot of autobiographies and this one was one of the best I have ever read. Uh, to me, autobiographies are like a double-edged sword. An autobiography can be brilliant when an artist talks about the recording sessions, the memorable concerts, their influences. That is everything a fan wants to know. But all too often, uh, an autobiography can be so boring when an artist talks about everything that is not music related and the fan gets disappointed. But this Johnny Marr autobiography is simply sensational. Uh, it could work as a blueprint for other autobiographies. Sometimes the beginning of an autobiography is a little boring. The artist talking a lot about their childhood, uh, but it's not the case about this one. Everything uh, Johnny Ma wrote about his childhood is very important to, to the understanding of his personality. Uh, you will discover his passion for electric guitars, the first one he saw when he was five years old, and since then now he's been obsessed with guitars. Um, he even talks a lot about his friendship with Andy Hook whom he met in school. So, if you skip the first pages of the book, uh, we will lose a lot of important information. Also about the political conjuncture of Manchester, UK, uh, which is so important to understand the Smith's shaping. And the first thing in this book that caught my attention was Johnny Marr's absolute certainty that he would become a star. Uh, since he was a kid, he trusted himself and the friends around him, like his girl girlfriend, now wife Angie, and his friend, the then manager Joe Moss. Uh, another thing that caught my attention was the detailed description of the facts. Uh, he described some moments where it's possible to close your eyes and imagine the scene. For example, the first time he met Morrissey at a Patti Smith concert, soon after he talks about uh, the way he and Morrissey ended up friends, he describes also how they chose the name of the band, he writes a lot of pages to tell everything about, uh, about the first uh, the Smith concert, for example. Maybe I hadn't read uh, until now such a detailed autobiography. In, in addition, Johnny Marr talks a lot about the Smith's classic tracks, songwriting process, and also their album's recording process. The most uh, important concerts like uh, Glastonbury, The Top of the Pops TV show. And of course, he talks a lot about the Smith's split. In fact, a uh, very similar case to the Beatles in that regard. Uh, the Smiths had uh, fallen out when the band members were choosing a new manager. Johnny also says something that I wasn't aware of. He almost died in a car accident just months before the Smiths' the, the Smith breakup. In this book, we will also read a lot of things which happened after the band's breakup, like the legal proceedings between the Smiths' members. Johnny Marr's style seems to be much more laid back uh, than Morrissey's. Uh, the way Johnny Ma writes about the legal proceedings is much more placid than how Morrissey does. By the way, I think Morrissey's autobiography is much more bitter than Johnny Marr's. And furthermore, Johnny Marr says at uh, the end of the book that he and Morrissey met about 10 years ago, and they talked a lot about the Smith's reunion. They talked for hours and hours in a pub. They remembered the old times, and the idea of a reunion was raised. But soon after, Morrissey severed ties, and 
unfortunately nothing happened. Uh, besides the stories about the Smiths, Johnny Marr remembers many other bands he worked with, like uh, The Pretenders, Talking Heads, The The, The Cribs, and of course, Modest Mouse. Uh, very interesting also is the chapter where he tell he tells us how he met his friend Noel Gallagher from Oasis. They are very good friends. In fact, uh, Johnny gave some electric guitars to Noel, including the guitar he used on the recording of the Queen Is Dead album released in 1986. As I said, this autobiography is very, very detailed. I remember I saw a Modest Mouse concert I think nine years ago, the band was the opening act alongside the National for a R.E.M. concert at Madison Square Garden, New York City, and Johnny's guitar didn't work. I have never forgotten this, and yes, Johnny Ma remembers that unusual night in his book. I don't know uh, how can he remember so many details. And that's it. It's very difficult to sum up a book in six, seven minutes, but I hope this video is able to encourage you to read the book, which I rightly recommend. And if you have already read his bo uh, this book, please leave your comment. Did you like it? Do you think Johnny Ma wrote a good autobiography? And see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>